As of February 21st, 2022, Senusha has diagnosed a total of 22,545 cases in country, with 1,048 active cases presently. The daily infection rate for the last seven days is 24.9 per 100,000 population per day, which represents a 35% reduction from last week, with a 21% average testing positivity rate and a transmission rate of 1.1. We have noted a total of 358 COVID deaths. We have 24 positive cases admitted at the respiratory hospital. One case is critically ill and one case is severely ill. Since the commencement of the fifth wave on December 16th, 2021, 9,416 cases have been diagnosed with an average of 143 cases per day. Women account for 58% of the cases and 62 COVID-19 deaths have been recorded, 63% of which is male. The majority of the deaths are COVID-19 related deaths due to other associated chronic health conditions. Tourists account for 4.7% of the cases diagnosed for the past seven days. Although the cases diagnosed are noted island-wide, the main areas affected are Castries, Grosile, Viewfort, and Babano. This week, although we continue to register cases, the seven-day average approximation continues to indicate a downward trend in the epidemiological curve. We note reductions in most of the public health indicators. As we move towards living safely with COVID-19, workplaces have been authorized to continue full operations. Most services have been restored to normal operations. We appeal to all organizations, both public and private sector, to ensure the strengthening of all of the public health protocols. We continue working with the various sectors to reduce the restrictive protocols without increasing health risks. We continue to remind you of the following important measures. Avoid large crowds and crowded areas. If you develop respiratory symptoms, seek medical care and avoid contact with others. Avoid large meetings and crowded activities and social gatherings. Ensure that protocols are maintained at all workplaces and sectors on minibuses and commercial and the tourism sector, gyms, hardware stores, supermarkets and recreational activities. Ensure safe physical distancing for face-to-face -face meetings and activities. Use of face masks when in public places. Ensure regular cleaning of surfaces and sanitation of all business establishments and environments. Ensure you remain in quarantine or isolation if you are a direct contact of a case or a member of your household is positive. Limit social activities at work. Encourage vaccination of employees. Presently, we are experiencing a delay in the shipment of the AstraZeneca COVID-19 vaccine and therefore it is not available at the various vaccination sites. However, the Pfizer and Johnson & Johnson vaccines are available at the various wellness centers and advertised sites. These vaccines have been proven to be safe and effective in protecting persons from developing COVID-19 in severe forms, complications, hospitalizations, and death. The booster vaccine is also available for persons who have been fully vaccinated for over six months. Everyone who has not been vaccinated is urged to get vaccinated urgently. The Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs wishes you a safe and happy 43rd Independence Celebration.